Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well yesterday we just added a little footer to our site and we left one of our little divs blank here or one of our columns blank because we're going to add some social media icons and to do that we're going to use a font set called Font Awesome which is as the name suggests is an awesome selection of uh, icons and I'll put this link below the video so if you go to font awesome and you go to start this new version the version 5 they're gonna ask you for your email address which is fine everything's absolutely free put your email address in there and they'll send you a bit of code it used to be you could just download the CDN and do it without any emails but this is their new system I guess and I just tried it works fine uh, Put in your email, they'll send you a confirmation email and you click on the confirmation, it'll send you to your personalized kit page and you just copy this piece of script that they've got at the top here. Make sure you've got tags on both ends and as it says here, you want to put it within the head tags of your website. So let's open our index.html and paste that in there. Here's our index.html and we were on the custom CSS. For those of you that have not been watching, uh, we created this site from scratch, created our index.html file, which is the one behind here, and a custom CSS style sheet, and a little folder for our images. So, we've got that piece of code. We need to go up to the top between our opening and closing head tags right here head head if you get this little symbol it just means that it's uh, closed up like that just click on the dots it'll open it there's the opening head tag there's the closing head tag I'm gonna put it after my last style sheet which was for our Google fonts that we used there uh, let's make sure I've copied that link correctly copy kit code click on the button there back to the site and paste it in there we go so now all we need to do is start adding font awesomes to our site and here is the blank column that we left and this is where we want to put them so let's go back to the font awesome site and click on the icons And as you can see, the pro version's got 5,365 icons. We're gonna use the free version. Everything we're doing today is absolutely free and unpaid. And for the free version, you've got 1,534 awesome icons. And there are some great icons here, there really are. But we want social media this morning, so let's do, let's put in Facebook. stick with these square ones I think today I'm just gonna click on it and I'm gonna click up here and when you click it'll copy the HTML code for you go back to our brackets where we want to put this code I'm gonna paste the first one in there there we go let's move down one let's get a I guess a Twitter just searching in the box up above above here here's a Twitter well, let's use the square one again left click and it's already copied it this underneath okay what else do we want perhaps Instagram and YouTube what if I can get it with just insta Yeah, there it is. Great. Again, left click. Back to our brackets. Paste this one. And last but not least, let's get a YouTube. There we go. And let's use that square one again. Now 
back to our brackets and paste that last one in there. Okay, let's save that, control S, as you can see, there's a little dot up there indicating we've made some changes and not saved. Now we save them. See if anything's changed here. Is this my site? Let's refresh and go down to the bottom. And there they are. They've placed them in there nicely. But obviously we want them a bit bigger. We want them to stand out. I think I'm going to want them white and perhaps put a hover effect over them. So let's give our little container a class. Let's give it a class of SM, SMED, social media. I'm going to target smoke social media I class. You could probably do it with a fab class just on its own. But I'm going to do social media I to customize ours. Let's see what we actually want to do to it though. Control save. Go back to the site and let's select this and see what we want to do. I'm just going to select the first one here. I'm using Google Chrome and this is the Chrome inspector. I just hit F12 or right click on whatever it is you want to inspect and hit inspect. And then you can start putting in whatever CSS you want to see how it wants to look. And this is non-destructive in the Chrome. So once you hit the refresh, it'll go back to how it was. First thing I do, I want to change the color. I'm going to make that white, which is FFF. It's actually six Fs, but uh, that didn't work because I've spelt it wrong. Try that. There we go. So that's turned it white. Let's make it a lot bigger. Let's say 40 pixels for font size. Colon, say 40 pixels. Well, yeah, that may even be a little bit too much. Let's give it a bit of space around it. Let's give it a margin of 10 pixels. So that'll give it 10 pixels all around. Top, right, bottom, and left. Okay, that's all right, giving it a bit more space. And it still wants to come down a little bit to be in the middle. So let's give it some padding top. We'll give it 20 pixels. I think that's going to be too much, but we can just adjust it. Yeah, that's too much. So I'm going to left click and highlight my number there. And then I can roll up and down with my mouse wheel and just put it exactly where I want it. Which will be somewhere right around like that. So that's well, 10 picks. So let's copy this. go back to our brackets text editor brackets by the way is totally free you can download it from a link below it's a great free text editor with some great features if you don't have one go ahead and download it if you've got a text editor though any text editor will do to follow along with this okay so we want to target social media SMED and I so let's go to our custom CSS and we'll go down to the bottom, which is where we are now. We're under the footer title. And the class I created was SMED, social media. And I wanted to target the I class. Like I say, you could do this with the FAB, but we may, may use those elsewhere. Open and close some curly brackets. And paste in that code that we just got from the Chrome inspector. Save our changes, control S. Let's go back to our site. Let's lose the Chrome inspector and refresh and all of those should turn white now and be the same as that first one. There we go, perfect. That's great, um, but they don't actually do anything. We want them to go to our social media sites when people click on them and we want to open it in a new page. So let's do that. Go back to our bracket software. 
to our index, let's wrap these in some anchor tags, which will make them go to where we want them to go. So it's pointy, left pointy, A for an anchor tag, and href, which is where it wants to go, equals. Open and close some inverted commas. And in there, you want to put the URL of where it wants to go. I'm going to copy my Facebook link address from my site here. And I want to paste that in between the two inverted commas. Now, after this, because we want it to open on a new page, we want to write target. Target equals there it is underscore blank right there and that underscore blank will make sure that it opens in a new page now we need to close up our anchor tag by putting a closing anchor tag I want to make sure I put the the right hand pointy bracket on there and there's our closing tag there it's automatically put that in let's cut that off control X and just put it on the end so it's wrapping our font in there there we go so we've got our href which is taking us to the Facebook page we've got the target blank which is saying open in a new tab there's the actual icon there's the end of the icon and the closing tag for the link so let's save that control s back to the site and refresh Now let's see. See when we hover over that Facebook icon now, it now turns into the little hand pointer. Click on it. There we go, it's taking us to the Facebook page in a separate tab. So you just need to repeat that for all these other icons here. Let's have it do something when we hover over it. Perhaps when we hover over it, let's turn it red like this here. So let's go back to our custom CSS and what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this smed I I really don't need all of this but I'll do it anyway and then after the I no space important no space colon and the word hover H O V E R and no space between the colon and the word hover as well and all we want to do, let's get rid of all those other ones we're not changing. We're just going to change the color and let's make it the red. What's we got here? That's the purple. That's the blue. There's our red. Let's copy that color. Go back. Replace that white with the red. Control S to save. Back to the site refresh now when we hover over these as you can see they turn red of course you can make them any color you want to just adds a bit more interest so we've got that linking where we want to go I haven't done these but you can do those exactly the same way just put your Twitter URL your Instagram and your YouTube and there you have it so I hope you found that useful. That's how to add Font Awesome to your website and add, add some social media icons with them. We'll be using them again later on for perhaps our blurb icons. Like I say, it is an awesome set. That's why they called it Font Awesome, I guess, but uh, they're really useful. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there, as well as some premium web development courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.